the Haas tool room mill uh, arriving as we transported it in the box truck. The box truck was difficult to strap it down to because it has these E-tracks on the side, but the E-tracks are just attached into like sheet metal, which is not that thick, and this whole side thing is all is bendy, so I wouldn't really trust those E-tracks for some heavy loads like this. So what we found that like this plate right back here that's part of the tailgate and lift gate has heavy duty steel and uh, quarter inch thick steel and it's pretty well reinforced so we use these ratchet tie downs to hold the mill back one one going to the top of the mill with a um, with a strap going around and then a lower strap on the bottom and these are the heaviest duty straps we could find at um, Northern Tool, which they're about like, uh, what is it? What are they there? 5,000 pound working load limit, 15,000 pound brake strength. So we have two of those. So we have basically a 30,000 pound brake strength there. Um, we put these two by fours, screwed a whole bunch of them, to, a whole bunch of them together to form a beam use these e-track mounts for the two by fours two sets of e-track mounts there and um, use that to both brace it in the forwards and backwards direction and the side to side direction by wrapping another strap around it this way so we did multiple wraps there to keep it from jostling side to side and also kind of strengthen the walls because without that these walls are really bendy and adding any straps to the walls would just bend everything inside. I mean, you could see it whenever, without these, without these wooden cross braces, if you tried to, to um, tighten this ratchet strap, you'd just be bending the walls in, um, or this come along here, or the ratchet strap. So these really help to brace the walls in. And then we screwed, can't see it here, but we screwed the um, pieces of wood, two by sixes, into the floor with lag bolts. So lag bolted these in, both on the on the back and on the front and on the sides. Walk over to the front here. It's like a laser jungle gym. So lag bolted two by six on the front here too uh added this bracing to the to kind of to up here but i realized that like if you know if this did shift forward then this bracing would probably just push these beams up into the handle which wasn't a great idea but it looks like it made the whole trip without touching so it uh, it didn't do anything and then i had a come along strap around here just to add another support to this beam. This beam again is made up of like two sets of E track pieces that fit the two by fours. Um, again, it's late, I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying exactly. It's midnight and we've been working on, this was a full day trip to go get this. Started at 7 a.m. to pick up the truck at 7 a.m. So yeah, so we only had one forward strap just to kind of counterbalance the other straps. We weren't really worried too much about forward straps and we had to get like rear-ended rear or something for the mill to go backwards or accelerate too fast, but that's not gonna happen with this rider truck. So, um, so we were mostly worried about stopping quickly or if getting into an accident or something that like we didn't want things to fly forward too much. So most of the straps were from the back side. Or, we wanted to buy some ring hooks that, that were E-track mount with a ring so we could put these straps in but when we went to get to Northern Tool they didn't have it at the Northern Tool location so we're just making do with this and this is going into this like sheet metal um, side here we can't get this to hook into the e-track so we just had to to um, do this as best as possible here and you can see it's kind of flexing the side so it's not not ideal um, this this come along 
actually hooks in pretty well to the e-track and along with this cross brace here this come along was uh was felt pretty strong and sturdy here to uh kind of pull that all together um got some boards screwed down again lag bolted in to the side just to keep it from sliding side to side and overall the move went well we just tried to drive as carefully as possible but that wasn't some of these roads are pretty rough uh, and uh, so just try to choose your path carefully so here we have the powered pallet jack stored up against the front of the cab and strapped into the e-track on the side and that was really helpful to be able to move the mill in and out because we couldn't have although we could move the mill on concrete and level ground with the regular pallet jack it was it would have been too difficult to move the mill up that ramp with the regular pallet jack so the powered pallet jack helped a lot with that uh, we would probably have to use a come along or something to be able to move it up the ramp and then it would have been it was also the truck was then inclined was also inclined so once you get it up the ramp then you'd have to stop it and slow it down which would have been difficult without the powered pallet jack.